I'm now 95 and I started sailing about 1970. Whenever we started at the beginning, we only had racing on a Wednesday night and on a Friday maybe, but Saturday and Sunday. And there was a lot of, a lot of the boys that I knew had, had retired or, or didn't have a job. And I suggested that we should have a race on a, on a Monday. And uh, it was all agreed. Everybody said, well, that's a good idea, good idea. And I think I said, well, we'll call ourselves the Wrinkleys because we're all the older members of the club. It's just, it's a nice way for everybody to get out. Now, if you don't win the race, it's not the end of the world, but it's taking part and meeting up with friends, old and new. We heard or read something about that the, the Royal Yachting Association were going to form a branch, or they had a branch in Northern Ireland. So we wrote off to them and got this, this letter back and they indicated, yes, we'll be pleased to have you. So and then no time, a week or something like that, a couple of weeks, we got notification, you're now members of the Royal Yachting Association. I mean, <laughs> this is very, very nice. <laughs> And we've been there ever since. From the RYA, uh, we have a, a you know, it, it allows us to uh, have the resources there should we need them. You know, if people want to buy books, you can buy them through the RYA. If there's uh, any updates, for instance, safety, the RYA will put them out. We're always there, we're always getting those updates because, you know, we're all, we're all I mean, I'm a member of the RA individually and then the club's, you know, affiliated to it. So there's facilities there that support the club. So, you know, on and, and a day-to-day -day basis, uh, the fact that you're there supporting the club is nice. The fact that you're here today is nice. <laughs>